A few days ago, Moonshot AI released their powerful language model Kimi K2. If we go to their GitHub webpage, we can see the introduction of this model. It says Kimi K2 achieves exceptional performance across frontier knowledge, reasoning, and coding tasks while being meticulously optimized for agentic capabilities. We can see the model summary and evaluation results. More interesting to me is the comparison with other top-tier models. For example, in the general tasks, Kimi K2 has 87.8 points, beating DeepSeek V3 with 87.1 and Quen 2.5 with 86.1 and Llama 4 with 84.9. In other categories, it is standing out. For the coding and math tasks, it has the highest scores among the other models. It is very impressive. In this video, we will show you how to use this model to build an AI agent in N8N through the Open Router platform. Let us go to Open Router website. On the models page, we can see the Moonshot AI Kimi K2 model. This is free version. It has already accepted 8.51 billion tokens. We are going to use it in our AI agent. It shows $0 price for input and output tokens, so, it is free to use. If interested, you can read the brief description of this model. There is other usage information as well. You can register and get a key for later use. If needed, please watch out previous videos that we think may help you. Next, let us go to N8N. We will create a new workflow. Let us click the plus sign to add an AI agent. In the search, we enter AI agent. Click the icon to add it onto the canvas. We can use the default parameter setting. Let us go back to the canvas. Now, we see the AI agent has been added together with the chat node. We click the chat model plus sign to add the open router model. In the search, we enter open router. We select the open router icon. In the settings, for the credential box, we can choose an open router account. If it is your first time, you can choose to create a new credential and you will be entering your open router key. Please watch our previous videos if you need help. In the model box, we can enter Kimi. We see a list of Kimi models. We select the Moonshot Kimi K2 free model. With all these settings done, we go back to the canvas. We are going to do a very simple test. Let us just ask who are you? To see how the model responds, we enter the question in the chat. The model has replied with I'm Kimmy, your intelligent assistant and good friend. I'm here to help you with any questions or tasks you have. How can I assist you today? This is very good. When we see the reply, it means everything works perfect so far. Next, let us ask another question for test. We say, who is the US president? It replies, as of today, June 25, 2025, the President of the United States is Joe Biden. This is apparently wrong. As most of other models we have tested, they cannot get this question correct because they have been trained with outdated data. In order to get updated information, we may add Wikipedia in the tools to help the model answer the questions. In the tools, we click the plus sign. In the search, we enter Wikipedia. We click the icon to add the node. There are no settings needed for this tool. Let us go back to the canvas, and we see the Wikipedia tool has been added. Now, let us ask the question again, who is the US president? But we have an error. It is because the open router node cannot use the tools if we have an AI agent node with newer version larger than 1.7. In order to solve this problem, we are going to use an old version of the open router node. On the overview, let us select an old workflow. In this workflow, we have an AI agent. If we double-click on this node, we can see the parameters. Let us click on the Settings tab. At the bottom, we can see the version number which is 1.7. The newest version is 2.2. Let us select the node and make a copy. We go back to the overview and click on the workflow we were working on. We paste the AI agent node on the canvas. Let us check the version of this node. After clicking on the settings tab, we see the version is 2.1 and the latest version is 2.2. As this version of AI agent does not work, we simply delete it and will replace it with the older version node. 
We connect the chat node with the AI agent node. We connect the open router node with the AI agent. We connect the Wikipedia node as well. Let us double click on the AI agent node. In the settings, we ensure that the version number is 1.7. In the parameters tab, make sure we select the conversational agent. In the newer versions, there are no such options. We keep other parameter settings. In the option, we have added the system message. In the beginning, we have added one sentence prompt to instruct the model to use the tools. We enter, please use the tool to help you answer the user question. All other prompts are from the default, and we do not need to make any changes. After this, we close the window, and go back to the canvas. In the chat, let us ask the question again, who is the US president? The AI agent starts running. We can see the Wikipedia node has turned green, which means it has been successfully executed. We see the reply from Kimmy K2 model. It says according to the most recent information, Donald Trump is the president of the United States, having taken office on January 20, 2025. This is perfect. So, the AI agent can use the tools to get the updated information with correct answers. Of course, you may add many other tools in your project. Here we just gave you a simple example. Hope this helps. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.